Hello, welcome to Bohanian Guitars. Thought I'd do a video on um, prepping an instrument before spraying. So I've, needless to say, I've given this a thorough checking. Are there any sort of wooden divots? Um, voids and stuff that um, is much easier to uh, fix now with um, dust and super glue or whatever. So the body is perfect. The top I just sanded with um, 320 grit um, sand net. This is Diablo's rip off of Merca kind of Avronet or something. Um, but uh, I'm just going to put the neck on. <laughs> just keep it there. So this is the painter's tape, very, very low tack painter's tape, the Stumaxel. And it's very good. And tape off the fingerboard. Normally I put bolts in and kind of easier. And put the tape right up against the fingerboard. So that's all the area that um, we're going to be taping off. This is frog tape. So just come in from that tape. A mill. And I'll show you a close up after I do this. So this is where the fingerboard Jesus. That's where the fingerboard came out too and I just came in a little bit. So uh, that that amount of finish will remain under the fingerboard. Um, because this is such a large area under the fingerboard, um, I don't do a hundred percent footprint. Um, but with the bridge, I do a hundred percent footprint. So I like my bridges to be as small as possible, and so there's just not enough um, area to waste by doing a ledge like this. Okay, so it's 
that done. Um, this is really wide tape, so I'm just going to chop it in half. Just to mask you off the tenon, sorry, the mortise. That's it for the body. Um, if I was doing a sunburst, I'd mask off the herringbone and all that sort of thing. Actually, I wouldn't at this stage because I'm going to put a seal coat on. So when I'm doing a burst, I do. Seal a coat first, then a couple of layers of clear nitro, and then sand all that flat, and then the burst. Um, the only other th things that I would do is just before I take this into the spray booth I will blow some dust into it to get all the dust, bl blow some air into it to get all the dust out and then fill it with uh, crumpled paper just so um, when I'm spraying um, the spray doesn't get inside or onto the back. So onto the neck. Three areas we need to cover. We could even call that four actually. Um, first is the the tongue, second is the cheeks, third is the fingerboard and fourth is the nut area. So I'm just going to leave a little bit um, of, I'm going to cut the tape a little bit short. And after I finish it, I'll just very lightly scrape and sand that area off. want to get right in there.
just leaving 30 seconds or so. Just, just enough. For this one I'm going to just go right up to the edge. that working with dicky little bits of paper it's This chisel shape, I mean chisel shape, um, scalpel shape is not good for this sort of work. Obviously this part is the most frustrating. cover up the sides of the tenon. Just everywhere. Including the truss rod. That's the part I hate to do. Under the easy part. So again, we're just going to put the tape down just a little bit inside the edge.
this is the first time I've used this fat tape and it's kind of not so fun to use actually. I prefer the one inch tape. Okay, so the nut area. Um, I have a small ledge up this side, so I'm not even going to bother trying to take that edge off. People wanted to distort in this area. But, um, just do what you can to get it good. This heel, I'm actually going to cut this a little bit below. Another thing with, I suppose you could call it prep, is the final sanding. So 220 or 320 is 320 is the finest you want to go. Unless you're, you know, French polishing or something. And you want to just look for any sanding scratches. that tape right in the corner. Um, any sanding scratches usually in the end grain of the heel. There's some tape here I'll have to clean up. Um, and in this area, the volute area, and on the end of the peg head. a final look with the light. You can see the shadow is even. That just means that the neck is shaped nicely. If I turn the... I think I've done a video on this, but... see the, the shadow is even all the way across. It might not come up as even on the video, but it's 
so you just want that fingerboard to reveal itself all at the same time. So that's good. I can't see anything wrong with this, apart from just a bit of fixing up the tape. Um, another thing which is a good idea is to um, countersink the tuner holes just a bit. These are for Waverly, so you can't countersink the top very much at all because the bushings aren't wide. So I've just just taken them off a little bit. Um, something that if you have to do this like this just a little bit because the bushings are small you can after every coat you know the next day um, you can just get out your um, countersink and just give this a little twist just to knock the edge off but all these edges here are um, not sharp this has been can't see but that's just been rounded over um, the fingerboard edge has been rounded over a little bit up here here these edges um, this isn't really sharp here has been rounded over um, so that's that so apart from blowing out the guitar body and uh, stuffing some paper in there um, we're good to go so I hope that was of interest um, some with some spray brands of nitro you can um, I would put a coat of shellac or something on this um, another thing you could do is to wipe it down with naphtha which is a, a good idea um, if you're using cardinal, don't use shellac under it because it delaminates. Um, but if you're using mohawk, uh, sea graves apparently, um, using shellac under it is safe. Yeah, I wish cardinal would change their formula so it would uh, be good and okay to use shellac under it, but not so. Uh, one last thing I do just so I remember when I start spraying because you know it's hard to remember after you know two or three four weeks um, is I write the date on here and so I will know that uh, after I do this so what I'm going to do is the sealer coat, grain fill, sealer coat, sand. First day is nitro, 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 probably nitro. Second day is sand all that down. And then a couple more. And then third day is a couple more. Sand that. And then after you've done that, you've got uh, you've put on and also leveled you know about 10 coats which is about 10 thou um, so with sanding it goes down to half that if I'm doing a burst I'll put another two or three coats on um, it just depends sort of how many you put on the, each day and how thick each coat is and how warm the day is which um, dictates kind of how much thinner you have to put in which also dictates how thick each coat is that goes on so you know there's plenty of uh, things to think about um, and this isn't you know a rock steady formula but if you aim at one mil or one thou of thickness for each coat um, that's kind of a good thing to go by and you can just uh, test that by um, the fingerboard tongue over the body so this you can just after you like on the second day of spraying clear coat 
you can just peel off a little bit of this of the finish off this area and just see how thick it is and also if you want to mask off the bridge area you can do that um, so I hope that was of help it's kind of a boring video with just watching me taping but I hope the end was kind of exciting <laughs> and may the fourth be with you peace out brothers and sisters bye